Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Tanya episode 41. So between episodes, I've been doing a lot of cleanup around the base. So I've set up this blue ender chest out here, and we've got a crafter in the base, which points to it, so it can make uh, soul sand and netherrack by exporting the stuff, uh, whatever it needs, so sand or redstone. So there we go, got that going, so that works out pretty well. All I've got to do is filter what comes out of here, and that works out pretty well. All right, uh, we have overhauled the mana setup. There are no more endo flames over here. Got rid of all of those. So we're using the two entropiniums. Uh, I did run out of gunpowder, so they're not running right now, but uh, I did get some more gunpowder in the meantime. So I will show you how that works in just a minute. In fact, uh, which gunpowder do I have right now? Enough. Enough that we can keep working on this. So... Let's put the sand back in the timer. All right, where's this is what I want. So, I'm gonna put 12 pieces of sand in the timer. I've got a dispenser in front of each one of these entropeniums. So every 12 seconds, we're gonna dispense some TNT. It's gonna be eaten by the entropeniums. It's gonna go up to this mana spreader There we go. And it aims at this mana splitter, which splits it between all four of these pools. That is why this guy is elevated, so that he can point to here and not hit one of the pools by mistake. Uh, I've got a comparator on this guy coming into a redstone relay. So we've got a power of one right now, so he is not very full yet. We pretty much ran out of, out of ways to make TNT a while ago. But um, I do have... Huh. I do have several mana pools or mana tablets filled up right now. I think three or maybe four. So not doing too bad. Uh, the TNT is coming from this interface from the refined storage system. I've got two in here so we can pull out one for each one. And as soon as it distributes, it goes in there. And it's got enough time that it pretty much fills up right away with just a basic servo. If that wasn't good enough, we could upgrade it. I put filters over here so we only ever get one piece of TNT in here. Um, so that's good. And this guy only works without a redstone signal. So that redstone relay goes under here, under the floor. Let me go downstairs real quick. Goes under the floor. Uh, there, there it is. And he comes out here. So when that first mana pool that's being checked is over a threshold of 14, we're going to give a redstone output, and this guy will turn off. He will not supply TNT anymore. He will not make TNT anymore. So these guys should turn off. Now, I'm nowhere near that point right now, so it's hard to say, but we could fill it up with the mana tablets and double check that. I should probably do that, but we're going to run out of TNT pretty soon, so it shouldn't matter too much. <clears throat> I have a spark on this mana pool. I'm calling this the primary mana pool. I've got the alchemy catalyst over here. Uh, eventually, one of these will become a conjuration catalyst. I'll probably move the alchemy catalyst to one of these at that point. So I have one extra mana pool for just regular transmutes. I'll have one for alchemy, one for conjuration, and one as the main mana pool just filling up and you know need to be full and at some point i'll use a spark to uh transfer the mana into all the rest of the pools but because i don't have enough uh, enough gunpowder to do that right now i would simply be emptying this pool and he couldn't supply other people which his spark with recessive augment is doing right now i've got recessive augment on this spark I've got a spark over here, although you can't really see it because that mana spreader is blocking it. But he is filling up this diluted mana pool continuously. So every time the orchid uses some mana, we get it over there. And we get uh, more stuff. So that works out. I made the setup a little bit simpler. I realized since we're just dropping things, we don't need a hopper hawk. We can simply drop them onto a half slab. If you drop things onto a half slab over a hopper, the hopper picks them up. So yeah, so we can just have the hopper feed right to the chest, which works out great. 
So, uh, yeah. So that's working out. So we've got our origin set up right over here. We've got the constructor right here. Now, I added a destructor over here. Now, he is whitelisted for platinum and lapis. So platinum's what breaks the system. So he should break that. And lapis becomes funny. So hopefully we don't have any weird lapis in the system right now. We don't. Uh, you, know, you don't get it very often, so I don't know if we'd have it. But it'll break lapis and take up the drops in the system. So we're gonna, we won't be getting fortune from Lapis. We're only gonna be getting the regular stuff, but I don't think we need that much and we're automating this stuff, so it should be good over time. I hope anyway. Yep, we're out of TNT. So yeah, we didn't have very much gunpowder. Uh, we can transmute Flint in Alchemy Catalyst to get more. So that may be a way to get more of this. I don't know if that'd be self-sustaining or not, you know, if we're going to use gunpowder to do that and tribute the mana. So, I do have the farm running again. Uh, he was turned off for the longest time, but I took the lava set up and put him down here. So, yeah. He's going to go and take care of that, and that'll be good. So, there we go. That takes care of that guy, too. So, you know, over time, we do get more gunpowder, but... Uh, we are running a little bit low on gunpowder. We might want to grab a creeper from there and put that in the tiny mob farm. So that might be a better idea. And we might want to upgrade tiny mob farm too. We have over 2,000 hurricane, so I switched this all to cactus. So that's getting me more cactus right now. We'll see how well that ends up going. Everything else, I think, is pretty much the same. I did make some change of the flooring downstairs, mostly so that the platform extends everywhere. I can walk around down here now, and if there's one of these pillars, it always has a ladder on it now. There's no more just pillars marking out rooms, which I was doing when they were all separate platforms. Now that they're not separate platforms, they're fine. Oh, I missed a spot over here. Oh, well, that's fine. So, yeah. I am realizing these things need to change as far as this needs to be part of the system. Oh, and I got rid of the network transmitters and receivers, the wireless ones. 120 RF per tick is kind of a luxury right now that I don't think we can afford. So, took them out. I ran cable down here. It's fine. You can't see it. We got a little crawl space down here. This is kind of for hiding stuff anyway. So, it's fine, and the cables aren't that bad. I've got the three height, so we can walk under them. So it's not even bothering me that much. So there we go. That takes care of that. Now, in the meantime, I've been doing lots of auto sifting. So we've got these guys running. So uh, cobble's becoming gravel, gravel's becoming sand, sand will become dust if we needed more dust, but we don't right now. This is the only thing using dust, and uh, if we've got more than 512 glowstone, which is, I don't know, I think two full stacks of glowstone blocks. Let me look at that real quick. Yeah, that's what that is. So that's what I wanted there. So we get plenty of that, and that'll run when it needs to. Uh, this guy, you know, we have so much tin right now, and all you get from him is tin, silver, and lead. We've got so much of that, I didn't see a reason to put a detector over here for now. This guy is set to a thousand iron, so he will run if we have got less than that, because we need the iron a lot, so we want to make sure we've got a lot of that. We've got plenty right now, and uh, that's great, because I think it's time to work on the Reborn storage system. So that's what I want to do next. So, let's look into Reborn storage. So basically, we're going to replace all these crafters with a giant multi-block. So, let me go look up some things I need for that, and I'll be right back. I did want to mention real quick that I also did some stuff with uh, this, too. It's also got a spark over here, so it gets mana from that pool as well. So, we're powering that with a diluted mana pool. Change that out from regular mana pool, and he's doing the same thing with the slab on top of the hopper. So, makes it easier. Don't need a hopper hawk. Don't need to worry about what it's picking up. So, that's a bit simpler. A bit more vanilla. So, that worked out great. <clears throat> I've got these guys timed I think pretty well now so 
I've got this guy. They're both set to 20 seconds. And I've got this guy. When he pulls out, we wait about three seconds before we put it back in. And the reason it takes about that long, if the lava falls down, to stop the lava flow so it won't go down there. And then I have this guy set to run about three seconds after he runs. So I think that will stay in sync because they're five and 20 seconds. There are their multiples or this multiple 20 is a multiple of five. So I believe they should all stay in sync and hopefully just drop me more stone. And because this is five seconds and I set this guy to 10 seconds, we are getting a surplus of stone. So probably need to add a drawer for him, but we'll get that. Oh, I do have a drawer for him. In fact, he's overflowing, he's overflowing his drawer. So I better do something about that too. But we're okay on storage for now, so I'll worry about that later. So, <clears throat> speaking of storage, reborn storage. Let's look into that. So we're gonna need lots of stuff. We're gonna need crafting frames, heat conductors, crafting CPUs, crafting storage. I think basically that's it, but we're gonna need all of those things. They do have some bigger storage disks too if you want those, but honestly, I don't know. Doesn't seem necessary to me, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I just use it for the A1 crafting mechanic that they bring back to refined storage, which I like the best. It just, spamming crafters, it, it gets annoying after a while, and if you want them faster, I need to put upgrades in each one of these. I think it's nice to have. I think it's nice to have a multi-block. <clears throat> Let's see how much space we have left on our crafters. Not enough. We're gonna need at least one more crafter first. But soon these will all go away. And I'll have a surplus of crafters in the system. All right, there we go. Get one more crafter there. All right, so let's make some patterns. I need to make a pattern for this guy. There we go. So crafting frames, 1K storage parts, advanced processors and chests. Those are all good. Uh, crafting CPUs, need speed upgrades. Okay, know how to make those automatically. Heat conductors, that's pretty simple. We can do that. And crafting frames. All right. So this is going to require a lot more stuff. So we've got a lot of diamonds. We've got a lot of gold. Yeah. It's time to bump up our auto crafting of these guys. We're going to get a stack of all of them in here. And make sure we've got those for the future. Should be able to get 30 patterns from now on too. Yep, okay. Let's make sure everything else we want to bump up. I don't think so. I think everything else looks like it ought to be okay. Yeah, okay. So that should be ready for that. We might be out of slime balls. We don't, we don't, we probably don't have enough slime for that. Uh, let's go transmute. Let's take a cactus real quick because it should be also requesting some diamond processors and it's not right now. So, what are you? Yep, you're the one I want. Keep going. All right, there we go. So we can get some more slime balls. Put those in the system and make sure, yeah, now it's asking for these too, so okay. So I had to build some stuff, needed more slime balls. We've got that now. We'll have to do some automation with that too to keep sure to make sure they're still in stock, but it's okay for now. All right, so let's put these in the crafters now. Let's put them all in different crafters. All right, I don't know if we'll need anything else, but we're gonna need those for sure. So let's see here. I'm gonna need a big multi-block structure. And I always do the math wrong. So I think I'd better lay this out before I build it so I know how much I need. So let me get some different kind of building materials. Uh, cobblestone is one option. Diorite could go. 
and a site could go and granite I had no granite um, let's see here you make me some granite will you he is faster we can output water that's interesting I don't know if we need better connectors or um just to tell it differently let's see here you're the water channel you are the extract great it can only do a bucket that's as fast as one gets I guess alright I think there are better ones we'll have to look into that later so this is it's okay for now but uh yeah I did upgrade all these machines they are all uh, reinforced they all have augments in them so uh, we've got enough power right now I think to do that so all right let's put you back on low and back on obsidian I've got you set to make sure we have got 64 city obsidian stock all the time so yeah that's uh, that's that guy and let's go grab the granite Okay, there we go. Alright, where are we going to put this? It's going to be downstairs, probably. It'll probably start um, here in the floor. Let me move some of these crafters. need an area in the floor okay we might have to offset it because of where this guy goes we could move that obviously but alright so I would have liked to have had it like right here kind of in the center well let's see here um, all I have to do is move the cable a little bit let's uh, let's let's move the cable yeah let's let's just do that so let's get some more cable <coughs> And we're going to, instead of going straight across, we're going to go over from here. Or maybe here. Actually, I've already got this going all the way over here. I shouldn't... Or in a second one, right? Yeah, we'll uh, run this guy. Run this guy. There we go. Okay, so he's hit it again. And now these need to be. So they can do that right here. Yeah, okay. So now we've got places for it to go. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. No, no, it's four. I want to make a five by five. Not sure if I can, actually. Uh, we will try that and see what happens. All right, so here's the layout. It's going to be a five by five by four. So four tall and uh, five on the other two directions. So the you need four components to make this thing. You need um, CPUs, crafting storage, heat frames, and storage frames or something, something like that. So the granite represents the storage casing or frame or whatever they call it. The granite or the cobble is the heat sink. 
the diorite is going to be the crafting storage and the andesite is going to be the CPUs. So hopefully, if I break all this stuff, I will know just how many of each I need. So that is my hope anyway. And then we'll see if I can actually build it. So we're going to need uh, 42 of these guys, this uh, cobblestone guy, the heat, whatever they call them. Heat connectors. So it says it has enough to craft a thousand. Wow, we need 700 iron for this. There is no way we have enough iron to make this stuff. Might need to scale back to a three or a we do a three by three or something? We could do a three by three and then wait till we have more iron to get a five by five. I we're gonna have to, I don't think we've got the space for this. Yeah, it'd be a three by three by four, because otherwise we wouldn't mean enough space for a CPU and a storage. So yeah. I'm gonna do a little bit more math. All right, gonna start out a little bit more modestly. Let's go with uh, 10 heat sinks. So let's see, how much is that gonna make? Okay, that's a lot more reasonable. So we're gonna get that started. Also need to make a crafting CPU. Gonna need to make a crafting storage. I'm going to need to make some more frames, some crafting frames. We need, what do we need, 24 of those? All right. So this might take a minute. It's going to build a few of these, but actually, oh, it's already done. That's a bit surprising. Where are my heat sinks? Okay. Hopefully I did the math right. Because I've been wrong about this pretty much every time I've ever done it. So... Alright. No, not, not, not you, not you. Okay, heat, 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 heat. And then we need CPU, crafting storage, heat, heat, and one heat up there. There we go. Didn't need to make quite a bit of crafting frame. I guess it uh, left four of them in there, which I only needed 20, so. But, that's okay. So all we need now is to hook it up to the system and then move the patterns around. So, yeah. Basically, any one of these should be fine. There we go, we'll just do that for now. All right, let's go back up. And now, should have a multi-block crafter now. Yeah, there we go. Although, only we have got the same amount of space. That might be a problem. I might have to do at least a four before I can move all the patterns, so that might be, they might have to expand into at least a four. So, yeah, I'm thinking it's not quite gonna go, but let's see how far we get. 
Well, came close, but not quite. We need uh, one more, it looks like. One more page where we were able to do this. But that took up, let's see here, enough for nine crafters plus the majority of another crafter. One, two, three, four, five. So two of them alone would give us space for, you know, five more crafters. Actually, six. So in this one block. And that'll be good. And with more CPUs, it'll be faster. So all I need to do for right now is work on making a 4x4, four four, which I don't really want, but I'm going to have to, to make sure it all works. So I'll figure out the math to make that, we'll, and uh, we'll see how it works. All right, there we are. We've got a 4x4x3, four by four by so that gives us two CPUs and two storage units. So that gives us uh, roughly four and a half more crafters of storage space we could use. So we replaced the 14 crafters we were using and four more and a half of one with this one block here, or this one multi-block here. And we'll be able to expand it to a five by five. And at that point, we will never need to expand it ever again. There'll be so much storage and speed, it will just be ridiculous. So, yeah, the only downside I've seen is that when you put the pattern in here, sometimes it takes a second for this guy to realize it's in there. But, um, eh, it's pretty good. I did run out of mana in here, so we weren't making any more ores. But uh, I went and dumped some of the mana pool, mana tablets we had in these pools and got them filled up to about half. So, you know, it'll keep going for them. I suppose, realistically, I should put sparks with Tessa Vogbits on these, too, so I can use everything here as well. At least one more, anyway. So, I don't know. I'll think about that. And, uh, yeah, we need to get more gunpowder. So, uh, right now, I think... I can't remember if I changed it or not. I thought I changed it back, but... Should still be going if we had stuff to make gunpowder. Find my way underground. Yeah, it should be going right now. Yeah, it's still at 14. Oh, there we go. Gunpowder. So, yep, alright. So, that wraps up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscription. If you didn't enjoy it, uh... You watched a long time for something you didn't enjoy. That's weird. Maybe it's you. See you next time.